Hello everyone, it's Seth, probably better known as Zephron Olive, and it's time for another Instant Deck Tech. So today's Tuesday, which means it's Type 2 or Standard Tuesday, and I've got to admit, it's been getting pretty hard to find interesting and fun and cool standard decks at the moment. Thankfully, Omnicat's around the corner and we'll have tons of new stuff to talk around, but it's really tough right now. However, there is good news, and that is whenever things are looking grim and I feel like I just can't find a sweet standard deck, there's a place to go, and that is to the small Japanese tournament scene. And we actually have a super sweet list to look at today. So this is Green Red land destruction for standard you heard me right and this one recently took Saskia Tara to a 3-0 finish in a small Japanese tournament so congrats to Saskia on their finish with the deck a quick reminder before we break it all down if you enjoy this deck and you want to see it made to videos take a minute click the like button the subscribe button leave a comment anything you can do to support your deck because whichever deck is most popular gets a shot at being made to videos next week so green and red land destruction essentially has one plan, and that plan is to start destroying lands on turn three. That is what this deck wants to be doing. So turn one kind of just passes, nothing to do. Turn two, you have eight mana rampers. So four Servant of the Conduit, four Uvenwald Captives. So if you play these, this will get us to four mana on turn three, and that's where the fun begins. We have 11 Th four mana cards that we can play on turn three that start destroying land. So if we're on the play, this means when we go mana dork on turn two, land destruction on turn three, we can theoretically keep our opponent at two lands for the rest of the game. And a lot of decks can't really function with two lands. If we're on the draw, it's a little worse. We keep our opponent on three lands. The nice thing about these land destruction spells is they have some upside. So Creeping Mold can hit artifacts or enchantments in our current standard artifact is more relevant, but you can kill a land or you can also like kill a Heart of Kirin, kill a Metalwork Colossus. There's a lot of artifacts running around. Structural Distortion also hits artifacts and it actually exiles it, which is kind of relevant against a scrap heap scrounger for example plus it does some damage to the opponent to help you kind of finish the game and then crumble to dust can hit like a creature land for example and get rid of all copies so you don't got to worry about being beaten down by a hissing quagmire or anything like that and then as the game continues we're Casting these land destruction spells every turn, keeping your opponent at a low number of resources, two lands, three lands, depending on play draw. Eventually, we get to World Breaker, which is a land destruction spell that's also a 5-7 reach body. And if you cast a World Breaker with an opponent at like three lands, it's going to be pretty hard to lose the game. Even if they can kill it, you can always get it back from the graveyard, sacking a land. So... It just comes down, destroys yet another land, so your opponent still constructed on resources, and then beats the opponent down. As for the rest of the deck, we get a little bit of removal. Walking Ballista is just a really powerful card. It's one of the best outs to this Healy Rai combo. It's just so good in so many matchups. And then Harness Lightning for some instant speed removal. And then for card advantage, and this is another key piece of land destruction, is... You want to make sure you're continually drawing cards or eventually you're going to miss a land destruction spell. And once your opponent starts making their land drops and you're not destroying a land and they get up to four lands, five lands, then your land destruction spells don't really do so much. Because most decks are pretty happy to function with five lands if you kill their six land when they play it. Uh, whatever, that doesn't really matter and you're spending four mana to do it. So Chandra Torture Defiance is a finisher, can kill a creature, but it also just draws us a card every turn to make sure we're always hitting those land destruction spells and then tireless tracker makes us some clues which we can sack to draw cards make sure we just are always destroying the land every turn and making sure our opponent doesn't get enough lands to do anything mana base wise ether hub green red duels some forests and some mountains in the sideboard incendiary flow gives us some more removal which is nice against aggressive decks and all different kinds of matchups then one of the things i really like about this deck is it does have a good plan for matchups where you need to take out your land destruction so if you run into black 
Black Red Aggro, for example, arguably even Mardu vehicles, although maybe less so because many of the land destruction spells also kill artifacts, but if you run into matchups where land destruction just isn't going to win you the game and it's just a horrible matchup, you can actually just take out all of your land destruction spells, bring in some Rish cars, bring in some Verterous Gearhawks, another Walking Ballista, another Chandra, maybe the Incendiary Flows we talked about, and actually just be a kind of green red beatdown deck. You're not as optimized as another deck that doesn't have all the land destruction spells, but you're a pretty reasonable green red beatdown deck if you just swap out all your land destruction for all of these threats. And then last but not least, you can kind of double down on the land destruction with Crumble the Dust for even more land destruction, and then Bedlam Reveler is good with all the land destruction spells, giving you spells in the graveyard to make it cheaper, draws you some cards, keeps fueling your plan, and that is green red land destruction for standard, and that's been our instant deck tech for today, so thank you very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will talk to you soon.